Hello, everyone. Um, we're coming back to you. Uh, of course, I'm still in Greece and Susan is in Sedona. Uh, it's almost eight o'clock at night here. And I think for Susan, it's uh, 10 in the morning, if I'm, I'm correct on the time. And this week has been, for me, a very intense week. And I think that's going to continue. It's been a lot of fear around. Um, I've been feeling people with a lot of fear, people with a lot of judgment, people with really scared about money. Uh, money's been a bigger fear for people around that I've been hearing. Um, it's just kind of like this week coming up also, I feel, is going to be that kind of energy. And um, it's, it's not about us really feeling this, this fear of not having. It's actually shifting it, I think, in my opinion, and then Susan will chime in, uh, to actually go that I have enough on, on everything. And once we go into that space that I have enough, I think the fear starts to dissipate. So I don't know. What do you think, Susan? Well, I'm in a bit of a different fear. Um, it's... It's, it's the middle of August, getting towards the end of August, where things get really hot and intense every year. Um, but whenever I start reading news, I immediately fall into fear. I mean, the, the Amazon is burning up, and this is going on, and this is going on. So it is so fear-based, and you just wonder what is going on with the planet and what it is that we are witnessing and experiencing Thing and, and what it is that we can do to help any of this. Um, as we are transforming, so is the earth. And so it's, it's quite fearful when you tap into that, which is kind of where I was this morning. So I immediately had to kind of back step out of that and see if I couldn't find some higher level to be at. So that's that's kind of what I do with the fear when I tap into it is I find what's the next energy that I can tap into that will get me out of this. I agree. And you know, it's not just the Amazon that has been burning, you know, the, the planet has been burning. I mean, the Canary islands, you know, almost got burned up an island here in Greece. The whole thing almost got burned up actually three or four islands, not just one. Um, the Siberia burned up. Now it's the Amazon, you know, the fear, the, the fire also brings cleansing. But yeah. what happens is at the same time, People, like in Greece, it's noticeable that people put the fires on. It's not just from a, a thunder or something like that. Here in, in, in Greece, a lot of people just go and put fires up because they want to build in those areas that is pure and it's all, you know, it's like a mountain and it's all green. And because they want to take it over and build on it, they create things like that, you know. But, but the fear, I think, is... I, I, how do I say that? I, it feels to me like it's the aura around the earth right now mm. and around our planet. I don't know if that's where we're all tapping in. And, you know, like the stock market went down and people got into fear about money this month. This has been a crazy, intense month. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you don't open the TV and you don't see one fearful thing, actually 10 fearful things for the day accidents or this or that I don't watch tv i don't even have a tv so i just kind of try to skim the the headlines on the internet just to see what's going on and today felt particularly crazy what happened today of, what's going on today uh, well just what i was reading i mean you know our president trump is always in some kind of crazy something going on so it i was when i was down in phoenix with family and and someone was watching the news, I, I come back to this quite often, how would our world be different if every day we were shown the good things that were happening on the planet, the wonderful acts of kindness and goodness that were being done instead of turning us into this fear every single day, every single day. So yeah, what would our world look like if it were good news every day? Well, you know, my, my thing is to get up every morning and just be in a positive place. That's my mantra now. And, you know, I get up, I do my mantras, I do my, my own positive mantra, say everything's going to go okay. Even if little obstacles happen during the day, 
that's what I do personally, just because I don't want to really keep tapping, tapping into that fear, into that craziness on TV or, you know, on the newspaper or on internet or, or whatever, you know, I try to stay as much out of that too. But here in Greece, the TV is kind of on because of my mother a lot. So <laughs> and it, was, it is kind of sometimes an older generation that is really used to their routine where they sit down at five o'clock every night and watch the news or they turn on the news every single morning. And so it does put them in that fear base, whereas now people are starting to get up and they do their mantras or they do their meditations, which put them in an, an entirely different headspace. Um, but still, I mean, it's, it's not to avoid the things that are happening, but it is, if, I, if this is happening, is there anything I can do about it? The only thing we can do is stay positive, I think, in, inside ourselves, you know, and then... Exactly. Of course, we need to have the awareness. I agree with you. I think we should be aware of what's going on. We should not block it off because if we block it off, we go into an opposite energy that it's not even good about that. You know, it's fake because we need to observe what's happening in our planet and what's going on. We need to observe. We don't, we don't want to deny it. Exactly. But also, if there's nothing you can do about it, then that's put you into a whole different spin. So that's when you want to send out the ripples of peace, joy, and love. And those ripples will go further than those ripples of feeding the fear that you know, sometimes can be. Yeah, so I think on that note, we're just going to say, you know, do not be in fear. I mean, try to stay as positive as you can because... This next couple of weeks, I think that's, to me, that will be the energy. It just, it just feels like that. There's just so much is going on. And of course, you know, with, with a planet burning up in different parts of the world, we worried about the animals and, and, you know, to see everything's happening. The ecological system is falling apart. Um, it, you know, like we're having a lot more heat than normal in places that heat was not there. You know, Greece has like tornadoes and things like that. They were never possible to come here before in the Mediterranean. So we're getting a little bit more of a tropical weather. So things are changing and we are changing with it. But if we do really stay in fear that it takes longer for us to be uh, adapted to this energy, to the positive energy that is to come from all this. And the earth goes through normal cycles. Exactly. I mean, and, and we get concentrated on what's going on right now, but you know, is this a cycle? that's coming back. Is this a 2000 year old cycle? It's just like, this is what the earth does. Nothing is stagnant. Everything changes. So is it that that's going on? Yeah. And you know, I saw something really positive is that you can see this month towards the end of the month, you can see Andromeda and you, we haven't been able to see it for 150 million years or something like that. And we'll be able to see it in the sky. How amazing that is to me, you know, that that all these things are keep coming back at us and Andromeda, come on, we're, you know, we're, that's amazing, you know? Yes. So it is, it's like, where is earth in its cycle, cycle in the entire galaxy that we're in? When, you know, it's interesting, I was reading about that, about Andromeda, it was the last time it was seen, it was with the dinosaurs. Wow. Wow. So that's a positive good news coming up. Exactly. <laughs> I, th I think it's this starting this this uh, from now to the end of the month oh, nice. for the month of August. Yeah. So I thought that was really positive to like, oh my God, 150 million years ago, whatever, you know, there was the, the, uh, or yeah, something like that. And it was the, the time of the dinosaurs. I was like, that is amazing. So things are waking up, things are coming out, you know, things are showing up again, as we talked in our previous video previous videos, even with the ancients and the giants and all that. Well, we continue to talk about it, you know, sometime, sometime next week about that. So it is, it's a cycle. So if we can concentrate on like, okay, this is a cycle. And what can we do each day to keep ourselves out of that fear? Exactly. Exactly. And not to stay in that fear. We have to yeah. shift ourselves out of it. And anyway, Thank you for watching us and please subscribe to our channel. And if you do have any questions, you know, 
go down to the comments all the way in the end. And um, by the way, just was for to let you know, there are both our websites are on. If you need any other personal advice, please you know send us an email. And we thank you so much. Thank you.